Hello everyone, welcome to this week's tutorial and this is going to be a rather short one but something that's cool and a little important as well and also requested by a couple of people. So uh, here it is. What we're going to do in this video is or this tutorial is that we're going to have a print button here that prints the content that's on the page. And I'm going to show you um, a few CSS tricks on what to show, what not to show, how you can hide things. Um, how you can change the layout if you want by by updating those CSS, but but something something small and pretty good and a quick one again. So um, we are all fa famous with or you've seen my famous Data Grid two demo application. A lot of you have access to this application, so if you have access to this application and want to see the print functionality working. Um, just pull the changes from your latest branch and you should be able to uh, to see the print button in function. And if you don't have access to this application, then you can fill in the form below and access request to this application. So let's get started. Um, if you click on one of the cities that we have added, that's Edmonton. So if you click here, you get a list of um, weather per dates, right? It's of dates, uh, which shows you weather and then the change from previous day and a small description, right? Um, you can generate this data by clicking the generate weather data over here. It'll create some random data for you. Um, you can explore my generate weather data microflow to see how I do it, but it's again, fake data, not real data. So say we want to print this page, right? So how do we do it? So I have a button that goes and prints thing that prints this window for you and uh, you can it prints all the records in your database or table right and um, a chosen landscape mode you can do portrait mode um, you'll have to update your css to show description and however you want to do it but again i'll show you how to do the css for it. but let's say for simplistic purposes i've taken landscape and it it prints what's on the page right now i know that we don't want this generate where the data button we want to hide the print button or we don't want the whole filter right we can do those things as well and yeah then then you can save it as pdf if your browser supports it or uh, print it through a printer this is my hp printer so i can print it on this one <coughs> and that's how you can do it so how do you do this in mendix it's pretty simple um you go to mendix um put the button wherever you want on page right and just a regular button and call a nanoflow from it so my nanoflow is at act print page and if i show you the nanoflow again it is pretty simple so it just calls a javascript function okay? and this javascript action calls a function that is again a simple that is window.print so if you if you do window.print this window um your javascript what it'll do is it'll open up this uh, this view for you or your browser will open up this view for you and that's it now how do i hide a few things right um if you if you realize that i've been i'm hiding i'm hiding the navigation bar over here so you don't see the home uh, these logos over here uh, when i print it because my css is hiding them right so how do i do that if you uh, i've added a small css which is which is um, which is called only when a print when you're printing the page so that's how the browser handles it so at media print and then in there you can define your styling right so uh, i've given this class name as no print which means uh, those are the elements that i want to hide so um, so that's how it is doing so if i go to my layout file uh, i'll put it on this main layout over here so add, added a class called no print so it doesn't print this again i've done this for this particular section of the page as well i'll put no print so it will not print it will not be a part of this right but if you go to my uh to the to the view of this page uh the page that we are on the print button and then sorry uh say the reset the generate data button or generate weather data button does not have no print right so that's why it was coming up in the in the ui now say I want to hide this whole thing. Let's try it. Okay. And I can go and add no print over here. And let me copy this. I could do the same 
for this one as well so that it doesn't print the page generate data button and this whole filter section from the right and <coughs> let's go ahead and save and redeploy the project <coughs> and see what happens and let's see it in action if it comes up so print and there you go the weather data button came up because again that's how it is but uh, because probably because not hiding the button i'm just hiding the the container there right so um css is funny at times on how it applies a few things or the mendix button is funny why because we applied it to the pan it did not get applied to the button but whatever it is <laughs> we applied to the button now and it should do the job perfect we don't see any of the buttons any of the filters anything right so we just get the logo and our data grid now you could go ahead and do styling where you move this whole uh, you or you use up the this empty space as well right and again that's all css magic that you have to do um, based on your applications requirements but all the css can go inside this media print so you can keep specifying your classes or you can keep specifying how are you, you can keep specifying new classes over here or keep adding to this one if you are going to use this no print everywhere but yeah you get the idea of it um, again this is this is fairly simple and easy to do and it's just three steps right one step is the putting the button on your page uh, second step is to for the button to call a nano flow and the third step is for Nanoflow to call a JavaScript that does Windows window.print. So these are the three most essential steps that you want to do or that you should do to get the print uh, window coming up like this or popping up like this. And once you do this, <laughs> there are, um, and then the CSS and all those things are optional based on your requirements. But these three are the most essential steps for you. Okay. Again. Um, I'll be committing all these changes uh, right now. And then if you want access to this uh, to this project and you don't already have it, then you can go ahead and fill the form below to get access to this form. And if you already have access to it, you don't have to fill in any form. Just pull the latest changes on the main line that you have access to, and you should be good to go from there. All right. Okay. And um, that's it for now. Uh, have a have a lovely day and have a great week and see you all again next week thanks everyone bye